Hey y'all, Kimberly here. Welcome to my channel, A Chance to Sparkle. If you're new here, welcome. Hello, glad you joined us. Um, in this video, I am going to be unboxing uh, two uh, boxes from Dreamer Designs uh, version 2.0. I got these in actually several days ago, but I was waiting until my phone came in um, to be able to record them because my web webcams have been kind of like on the fritz lately. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show this one right here first. So I don't know if you will be able to see it too well, but we're going to try. This is what the first one is. It's this little frog right here, Freddy the Frog. I tried to get some that I hadn't seen anyone open yet. Um, and I think I managed to do that because I haven't seen anyone opening these two. This one is a 15.7 by 19.7 inches or 40 by 50 centimeter. It is licensed from Sandra Trubin. Uh, she did a lot of the animals that are on Dreamer Designs. Let's see if I can open this and manage not to break any fingernails. Sorry, I'm trying not to put it down on the table because when I put it down on the table, the whole camera and everything just kind of shakes. And I'm trying not to shake the camera too much. Anyway, here is the package that's inside the box. Um, everybody's been showing these off. Uh, they are it's sort of a canvas, a reusable canvas bag that uh, the drills and the... Uh, canvas and everything comes in. Um, it's that kind of, not really that paper material like you see a lot of the like free Chinese bags come in. Uh, it's a heavier duty canvas than that. Um, but it is still kind of thin and see-through. It just, it doesn't feel papery like uh, some of those like free, I think you can get sometimes free backpacks with things and stuff, especially if it's something that came from China. There's the canvas, there's our little toolkit, and there's our drills. Set the bag aside. And this is a sort of velvety feeling. I heard somebody call it a velvet bag, but it reminds me more of uh, that heavy uh, t-shirt material that Jersey uh, sheets are made out of. If you've ever seen Jersey sheets or had Jersey sheets, it kind of reminds me of that heavy t-shirt material, really soft t-shirt material that, that, that those sheets are made out of. Inside the kit is two clear glittery pins. I'm going to try and slide things back in as I go. There is a three-placer and what appears to be a six-placer and a large straightener. Or you can also put double-sided tape on these and actually use that as a placer. But I have, I tried that once and I didn't particularly like it. So I prefer using this as a straightener. So you got six placer, three placer, and a straightener. You got two purple squishies to go with your pins. There are two little containers of pink wax. Uh, both of them with, ooh, looks like Chance is joining us off my band-aid. Both of them have the little Dreamer Designs logo on it with the little um, well, you got telescope looking at the stars. And now these will, I can tell by the way they're rattling around, there will be wax on both sides of this. So you want to peel the wax off at least one side before you put it down in your little uh, container to use. And you want that to be the side that's up. Um, the very first time I ever diamond painted uh, a couple of years ago, nobody told me that. And I was trying my best to load the pen and couldn't figure out why. And it's a really thin piece of uh, plastic that was on that. That was actually thick. You could feel it. It's a really thin piece of plastic on the ones that I tried. And I could not for the life of me figure out why I couldn't load my pen until I realized there was a piece of paper on top of it. There's some baggies. Uh, if I had guess, not enough to back up the entire kit, but uh, probably enough for whatever leftovers you have. There is a pair of very sharp tweezers, which is perfect for a round kit. 
because uh, these pointy tweezers work pretty good on round kit. In fact, I think I can, I have used them on round and square myself. I don't, I prefer not to use tweezers. And then there's two funneled boats with the Dreamer Designs logo on the backs of them. So you get two of everything, except for the multi-placers. That's a very nice little kit. Let's set those over here. You've got a pretty purple ribbon around the canvas. And now I'm so excited. I get to lay eyes on this one for the first time. I love frogs, especially the like tree frog, uh, rainforest frogs. So this is like the perfect little project for me. There is a foam core in the middle of it, which you don't really need. There is... I've seen everybody talking about these and struggling with these. I will give you a piece of recommendation. This is supposed to be a sticker. Um, it is very thin and very hard to open from what I understand. Um, my recommendation would be to take those very sharp tweezers. They will help you get the backing off of this. Um, that's going to be the easiest way to do it because when it's this thin and this tightly put on there without like a pull tab to start, the easiest thing to do would be to use those sharp tweezers. Um, they will help you get that off. Set that aside. And then there is the uh, social media information. Um, and on the back is the step-by-step -step on how to diamond paint. Uh, basic instructions that you get with most decent uh, diamond kit, diamond painting kits. And here he is, this beautiful little frog. Now this is not the soft canvas that you get with um, Diamond Art Club. I think I saw somebody talk, uh, talk about that one as if it was uh, reminding them of Muppet skin. Um, I don't quite get that. It's cottony to me. But there we go. Let's get it lay out a little bit flatter. Beautiful little green and orange frog. I love their little orange eyes. Uh, this one does have some ABs. Um, it looks like there's two ABs. Um, let's see, they do their ABs in the low numbers like AB08 and AB38. And so far, I have noticed pretty much every single kit that I've seen anyone open up, the ABs have been a green and a white. I sense a theme there but every single one of them I've seen it's been like the same green the same white has been their ABs so I don't know if maybe that's the only colors that they had to use as ABs at the time or what but it just seems really strange that every single kit it's a green and a white or at least a green the green is in every one of them anyway this green would make sense in this frog um, this in fact the white there's gonna be a lot of white because I see the symbols for the white on his legs and around the back legs. See it around his face. So there's going to be a lot. It's, then, it's right here on what looks to be the lily pad. And over here on the lily pad, it looks like there's going to be a lot of those. And then H is the other AB. Let's see if I see it right off the bat. Um... Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. It's right here in this uh, stalk right here. It looks like it's both the white and the green ABs. Um, it looks like it's some on his face. His face, he's going to be eat up with ABs, basically. Um, it's in his legs. The lighter green areas, it looks like, are mostly all ABs. So there's going to be a lot of ABs on this one. It's going to be gorgeous. There is some color blocking. It's not huge areas, but like you got, you can see like there's little small color blocking areas. It's not like confetti driven, but it's not huge color blocking areas either. Anyway, let's have a look at the drills. Well, before I do that, let's bring you down. Let's get a closer look at the drill field. There you go. There's your little bit closer look. Um, the letters and everything are kind of small uh, for some of them. Like the H's, were, I couldn't quite tell them right off the bat because they're really kind of small. Um, I don't know if you can see them right in here. 
Um, but most of the stuff that I can t I can even tell it without my glasses on and without a light pad behind it. Um, I do have some vision issues and I do need to go to the doctor for them. I have not done that yet. I just wear reading glasses. And I also use a magnifying glass with a light to look at my diamond paintings. Um, I carry a hand-filled mag magnifying glass with me when I travel and go <laughs> and diamond paint. Like when I go to the hospital, I have a handheld magnifying glass I carry with me. Um, it doesn't look like anything really is close to each other in style. There are s like symbols that are alike but they're facing in different directions and on different colored background. Uh, so that's a good thing. Um, they don't have the um, guidance circles or the training wheels that everybody talks about on their canvases. So that's a good thing if you don't like those. If you do like those, you might have a little bit of an issue because they are not here. But anyway, let's come back out. So let's flip this over. Let's have a look at the drills. There's going to be three strands in here. I'm going to start with this pretty lilac like color. Let's bring you down just a little bit more. All right, I've got this pretty lilac color. There's a deep red. There's some three tins. There's a pretty purple. There's a lighter purple. There's 666. There's a nice carroty orange 741, and a little bit, almost the same color. Very little difference between these three colors. Just a couple shades each. 741, 742, 743. So, you, I mean, you're right next to each other in shade. And then there's 761, which is kind of a peachy pink. And then the next set, it looks like we got ABs in this section. There's a nice little like turquoise green, 959, 959. So there's two packs of 959s. There's a pumpkin orange, and a pretty blue. There is a pretty yellow. There's another blue. There's our white ABs. And there's our green ABs. You see the coatings on both of those? Very pretty. And like I said, that same green, I've seen it almost every single one of the videos. I've, in fact, every one of the videos I've watched so far. That green has been in there. And if there are two, then that white is the other color. Alright, and then the next strip, we've got a purpley blue. There's a very deep maroon like red. Not a lot of those at all. There's a little bit darker blue, 820s. There's 823, a dark navy. 890, a very pretty dark green. There's a little bit lighter green, kind of very similar, not quite, but very similar to the AB color. And a sort of leafy green, 909. Grassy green, 911. As a dark, very dark, like olive green, 9, 934, and then there's an orange, 947. So that is the drills, guys. I'm going to put down piles, put this up, and pull out the other one. So just a moment. Okay, here we are back for uh, the second unboxing. Uh, something I'm going to mention before I show you which one this is. I'm probably not going into as much detail as some other uh, YouTubers are going into about the Dreamers Designs uh, version 2.0, but I didn't actually try out the first version. Um, I was actually fighting disability at the time and I could not afford the first version. Uh, anyway, this one right here is called Rainbow Stallion. It's 
license from Anne Marie Bone. It is a 50 by 40 centimeter or 19.7 by 15.7. And there's the picture on the end right there. So let's go ahead and get it open up. I'm excited to see this one. Um, I was torn between trying this one and a Lily. And I saw today somebody had a video up that was uh, them unboxing the Lily about a week ago that I had not seen yet. So I'm kind of glad I got this one because I still haven't seen anyone unbox this one yet. So let's open up the bag. Um, I'm not going to go through the kit again. Same kit as before with pretty much two of everything except for the tweezers and the multi-placers. Here's our canvas and our drills. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this one, I think, I want to say had three ABs. Did it say on the box? It does not say on the box. I don't think. Nope, I'm not seeing sparkling square diamonds with AB accents. Doesn't actually say. But I want to say this one had three dot three ABs, but I'm not I'm not gonna guarantee it. One of them is probably green. And again we've got the same little instruction sheet and then there is our sticker to use um and let's have a look see yes there are three a b's there is the green the white and then there is a yellow it looks like or or a lighter color of green so you have 38 and 08 those have been the standard colors okay let's have a look see it needs to go this way Foam core out of it. Let me roll it so that you can actually see it so it'll lay down better for you. I typically don't like to roll my canvases, but there it is. It's so pretty. The stallion, of course, is in black. He's kind of shadowed, and then everything else is rainbowed. Now, this one is going to be confetti-driven. There is not going to be any color blocking in this one. Um, but again, kind of like the one that I unboxed for uh, Diamond Art Club, a lot of the big confetti is down towards the bottom half. And then there's like less confetti areas. Well, I'd say probably in the middle is the less confetti area. So I would probably split this into threes, and I would do like smaller sections and do like a lower section and the uh, middle section and the upper section that way I'm breaking it up between heavy confetti, lighter confetti, heavy confetti for the most part because uh, basically this is just a mirror image of this up here but oh my gosh it's so pretty um, let's see I see some of the yellowy colors are going to be in the reflection of the tree and in the trees um, the ABs there's going to be some right here in this little bush or whatever and then reflecting down here um, the white ABs are all over the place right here and here um, the number twos looks like they're going to be reflecting off of the trees and then up in the trees, they're all up in this tree where all the green is. They're just scattered all over the place. And in front of the stallion. Uh, there's white ABs. Just one here and there everywhere up in the trees. It is going to be so pretty. Let's bring you down, let you have a good look at the... Come on. There we go. Let's get a good look closer of the drill field. You can kind of see there's the black horse or the shadow of the horse. And there he is reflecting in the pond. You can see some of the ABs marked down in here the zeros, the twos. And 
the threes, um, the third AB are these little like arrows, little yellow um, arrows pointing. There's some of the yellow arrows right in here. A whole section of a lot of the zeros. There's some more twos. So you can see the babies are kind of scattered. There's more zeros or O's or circles. Your choice how you want to look at that. You get a good look now up in here. You can see it's very heavy confetti up in the trees right here. Especially this tree with all the colors in it. This tree on this side is not quite as heavy. But you will see more of the uh, O's in the light colors there. Or the circles in the light colors there. And some of the twos. Anyway, let's pull you back out. And let's have a look at the drills. Flip it over. Whew. My cat's wanting in and I'm getting hot. It has been in the 70s in the south today. And with all these lights on in my room to do this, it is hot. Okay, we've got a single pack of 3607, a nice fuchsia-like pink. Let's bring you down just a little bit. Okay, it's a nice fuchsia-like pink. And now let's open these up. Get that out of the way. I'm not quite down as far as I want you. That's a little bit better. All right, there is a brown, and a dark red, number 304. It's a pretty yellow, 307, 321, 444. It's kind of an orangey red, 606, and a 666, 699, it's a dark green, 710. Next, we have right on the side, we've got 718, which is kind of a fuchsia purple, 740, an orange, a lighter orange, 741, there's a mint green, 747, nice blue, 796, 798, there's a maroon, 814. And another maroon 815, 820, and 823. Dark Navy. How many strands do we have here? Alright. 906, a nice green. That'll be up in the trees a bit. There's 918, a caramelly brown. There is 939, the dark, dark Navy. There's orange, 947. There's a baby pink, 963. There's a baby mint, 964. There's another orange, 973. 995. And 996. And I assume the ABs are over here. There's pretty pink, uh, 3608, I believe. There is 3756. That's a pretty blue, 3766, 3776, I like that purple, 3837, I love that blue, 3846, now here's our ABs, there's the yellow, pretty yellow AB, there is the white, with the green hitchhiker, and there is the typical green with a white hitchhiker, so they just jumped each other's bags. That green is, I'm telling you, in every single one of the Dreamer designs, that green is in there. If there's only one, it's that green. If there's two, it's that green and white. And I'm going to see if there's three, it's the green, the white, and the yellow. Anyway, that is it for this unboxing from Dreamer's, Dreamer Designs version 2.0. I love the two canvases I got. 
Um, I do wish they had more whimsical canvases like Diamond Art Club has with their fairies and dragons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but what they do have, the animals and the sceneries, they are absolutely gorgeous. Every piece that I've seen, um, the canvases are extremely bright and vibrant. Um, I don't know that they have to be so bright and vibrant. Uh, they almost look like they could be even more vibrant than the drills, even, in some cases. Um, the only complaints I might would have is some of the letters and symbols are a little bit small for those of us who have a little trouble seeing. And um, the brightness kind of um, affects that a little bit. Um, but otherwise, everything is absolutely gorgeous. The drills look great. The canvas looks great. Um, it lays down really nice and flat. Um, I love that they're licensed uh, and they pay their artists um, because there's not that many places around that do that. Um, the prices are a little bit high, so uh, being able to afford them can be an issue for some people. I do wish they had more ways to get discounts. Uh, like with Diamond Art Club, I can get a discount military-wise. Um, not not all of In fact, Diamond Art Club, I think, is about the only place that I can get a discount uh, with a military discount. Um, them and one other place, and I can't think of who else it is that I can get a military discount with. But um, I wasn't in the military. I'm the daughter of someone from that was in the military. And uh, the ones that I've done have actually allowed for service members and their families. It's not just strictly for service members and their wives or anything like that. It's uh, members and their families. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Um, it's not that often the daughter of a service member gets to take advantage of a discount. Um, but otherwise, I think it's a beautiful canvas. Um, I can't wait to do them. Uh, they probably are going to drive me crazy because both of them are very confetti driven. In fact, everything that I saw on there, just about it, is pretty confetti driven. Um, it would be nice to see stuff with a whole lot more color blocking, I think, because I think there's two schools of people. Some, well, there's really three schools of people. Some who hate confetti and love color blocking. Some who hate color blocking and love confetti. And then there's those of us who kind of go in between, but we lean more one in, in one direction or the other. I'm one that goes in between, but I lean more towards the color blocking. Um, I can do those quicker, so I get like quicker satisfaction out of it. Um, but diamond painting is a release for me because of all the things that I've been through in my life. And But that's going to be something, a story for another time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe. Um, tell your friends about me. Help me grow my channel. The quicker I grow, the quicker I get monetized. And the quicker I get monetized, the quicker I put money back into this channel and give you more and better content. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.